good morning and welcome to a weekend vlog i am just having the best day ever so far um nothing's happened it's like 7 30 in the morning um just went and got some coffee some starbucks today is an awesome day because it's like my schedule is different for for work on fridays and i get off at noon so i and this is the first time this new schedule is happening so i'm so pumped I have lots of plans for the afternoon, lots of plans for the weekend. I am heading into work now, and then I'll pick up in a little bit after I get off. Super pumped, it's gonna be a good weekend, it's gonna be a good vlog. Hello, friends. Hey, Pilates class. My arms are literally trembling from class like every single time I leave and I'm just shaking and today was a lot of arms and legs and so I'm struggling a bit but um, I'm gonna go mail something to my mom in Chicago and then I'm gonna go home like I'm just I'm done for the day okay I have air wrapped my hair put some makeup on Wow giving a lot of body I need it to kind of go down a little bit um anyway so we're gonna go to the mall I just recorded for probably six minutes and didn't press record love that for me I'm waiting for my friends to arrive so we can go to this party at Kendra Scott but I wanted to tell you guys that I am loving that so many of you are praying through the 31 prayers for your future husband for the second time um I'm doing that as well and I'm just really enjoying it and the thing that I like the most is that I'm seeing so much transparency and vulnerability in the comments of people just being like, today was really hard and I felt really lonely and when is God gonna do this for me? Because I think it's important to have community who knows what you're walking through and knows what you're going through and it's special that we've built something that we can all kind of rely on and just be honest with and have prayers from other people who know the struggle. And so anyway, don't ever be afraid to comment or to be transparent because it's nice to have people praying for you. I wanna show you guys what I got from Athleta. Little quick haul. So I have been doing Pilates and I love it so much, but I don't have, I have like one cute set. And so I was like, I need more. Um, and my friend Cam is getting married soon and she's having like a little Pilates thing the day after the wedding. So I wanted to make sure I had a cute set. Um, so I went to Athleta. And the problem is none of these places actually have tops and bottoms that match. Like how hard is that to ask? If you're gonna make five colors of tops, can you have at least three out of five of those colors for bottoms, but they don't ever. Um, so I got this navy blue because I have navy blue Lululemon shorts that I'm actually gonna check the color of in a second. And I have um, got this color also. I thought that would be good with navy blue as well. Hold on. I'm going to sauna after this, maybe. And so I brought these shorts to put on after. Of course, they do not match. Of course they don't match. They don't match, right? They don't match. That is a bummer. But I do feel like this is cute. I feel like this would be a cute set. So this is, this is what we're gonna go with. I'm trying to hydrate just in case I do go to the sauna because If you don't, you'll be sick. So anyway, like I said, waiting for these girls to get here from lunch. I opted not to do the lunch portion. I think we're going to make jewelry. I'm, I can't be certain. Um, I'm just here for the vibes. So I will take you guys along now. I'll bring you inside, show you what we do. doing the opposite of what I'm supposed to be doing at this color bar. I'm like finding other earrings that I like. Um, they're like cute and dainty. It's between these and these, which are a little bit bigger, but still super cute. Hi girlies. Shopping. Hi. 
Because they give you two different looks. They do. Yeah. Yeah. I think this gives what I need it to get. Okay, that was actually so fun. Um, now I'm going to go sit in a sauna. And my hair is going to be ruined. I'm in the sauna, but I forgot a book, so I'm watching Go My Girls in French. <laughs> so hideous. Um, good morning. It's a mess. Um, I go to church so early that I'm still asleep right now. <laughs> um, so about to get ready quickly for church. I think I'm just gonna wear jeans and a top today because I'm not not feeling it not feeling putting on a dress um so we're gonna get dressed for church quickly and then go to church okay did some quick makeup touched up my hair with the air wrap and now i'm gonna put on shoes and we are going to go to church so let's go doing a target pickup and thought that we could chat while I do that. Someone in the comments asked me to do a video on um, how to find a church and uh, I thought I'd just include it in this video since you guys just came to church with me. Um, I am very particular about this subject because I have found myself in a few situations that I didn't love because I didn't use this checklist. Um, and then you feel obligated to stay and like all the things. So number one and first and foremost is that it is a Bible believing and teaching church. There are so many churches who claim that they believe the Bible and then there's no evidence of that. There's no fruit of that or it's uh, manipulating the Bible, I guess. Um, and then on the front of um, Bible teaching, like I don't subscribe to churches that like cherry pick scripture to prove the point that they want to say taking the scripture and making it what you want it to be instead of what the scripture actually is like something that i really appreciate about my church is the fact that um he goes through scripture like he will go through a whole freaking book of the bible if we needed to okay target order is coming once again okay so i would think i was saying um it's important to have a church that doesn't just like isolate scripture and match what it wants to say, but let us be informed by the word of God. And so I, that's super important to me. I was a part of a church that just like completely isolated scripture all the time to like prove what point, I don't know, it never made any sense. And so it's super important to me. Right now, the th I love that about my church currently. Um, we're in a series, week two of a series about the life of Jonah called Why Am I Here? And it's so good. <sighs> That's really important. So Bible believing, Bible teaching, two top importance, obviously. Um, a thing that's really important to me is community. Like knowing that there are people, being able to look around and see that there are people that I would want to connect with 
and that I would have the opportunity to connect with, that's super important. So um, whatever season of life that you're in, for me, like I'm kind of out of the range of young adults, even though technically I'm in it at my church. I don't go because it just feels so young for me. Um, but I do life groups and I'm really appreciative and very thankful that there is an opportunity to connect. The rest is all preference. Like I think, you know, after, after it boils down to, um, you know, the Bible believing, Bible teaching and community aspect with which God calls us to operate in community. I think a lot of it's preference. So for me, like good worship is a preference and it's one that I lean on like i need it to be good i need it to be an environment like i'm such a person that operates in community outside of church too and i need it to be a place where i would feel comfortable bringing other people um i've had so many friends come to church with me at this church that i'm going to and that they even if they don't stay they feel comfortable even coming to visit um for christmas or easter or just a random like worship night or whatever like feels good also like the season of life that i'm in is a busy one and so i really value a church that like honors time and obviously like i'm it's jesus so like he commands and like i will give him all the time that he needs but like they're very intentional about how much time they take and making sure that it's worthwhile for everyone um like, it's awesome that I can go to church and have worship, fellowship, the word, and all the things in an hour and 15 minutes and feel like that was great. Not feel like it was rushed, but feel like every moment of time was accounted for on their end and that it was super intentional. So I really appreciate that. Um, women's ministry is important to me. So love that we have that at my church. Anyway, like, I truly believe that it's all preference, like, after knowing that it's a church that, like, preaches Jesus and the Bible, like, after that, feel free to choose on your own, invite God into the process, but don't make it such a big thing. That's my advice on that matter. I am going to go upstairs. I'm going to make breakfast tacos. I'm going to wash my makeup off, read a book, and take a nap before pickleball tonight. I took the longest nap of all time today and it was amazing, so glad. Um, it's 4.20 right now and I have pickleball at five, so I'm gonna go ahead and head that way. I'm just realizing that it has been a minute since I have played pickleball and I need to look up the rules. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit in the car and it starts in nine minutes. I'm gonna take like two or three minutes and refresh myself on rules and scoring. first match which is really unfortunate okay I played some good games I um, lost my first match my second match I won 10-3 my third 11-3 my third match I was down 3-9 and ended up winning 11-9 so that was good and then my fourth match was terrible and I don't want to talk about it Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me in a weekend. Let me know if there are other things that you guys want to see or if you liked this or like, just let me know what you guys think. Um, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.